hello world now. This picture, this message is for you. And I couldn't have done it without the world, so I thank you because we're all together in this. Here's the big picture. It's finally all come together now, and I don't think anymore. This is it. You can choose to accept it, you can choose to ignore it. Here's the way our universe functions. It is our hip, all up here. We're looking at our own minds. It's brilliant. So, the first thing I'm going to tell you is the story of Osiris and Set. We've all heard it if you watch the Zeitgeist. Uh, Osiris is, der is ruling during the day, and Set will come and kill him in the evening. And then they have their battle in the underworld, and Osiris always wins. No one understands how that works. Let me break it down to you. We've been looking at our universe entirely wrong. It is. We are in the hollow earth, but it's not even real. This is all, this is all fake. This material is bullshit. This is a dream state you're in. We are in the hollow earth. The suns function like this in a triangular shape with the bigger star, Sirius B, being here, and the smaller one, Sirius A. Uh, we figure it is an elliptical orbit, but it's not. And it functions like this. This is why the pyramids are so important. Three, six, nine. Three plus six equals nine. Three, the Holy Son, the Father, the Spirit. Six, the number for man. Nine, the merger of both of them. This is how you do it. So, we have the suns, and they function like this. This is why there's a dark spot. This is why if you look at a daylight map, and, she, and it shows you where the sunlight is, and there's always that big dark spot in the middle, and I'll draw it out for you. It's always like this. And here's the two light spots with the two suns, and here's all darkness. And it only works if you look at the earth as a, if you fold it inward. Fold it inward, you can see the two suns. If you fold it outward, it still doesn't make any sense. Even if you took a globe and shined a flashlight, it is not this light pattern, I guarantee it. Okay, so with that being said, here we are with the triangular, the, the two suns, and this is how the, the story of Osiris and Set come to full light. Here it comes. So you have the, the sun, and it comes up in the morning, the morning star, the star in the east, the brightest star in the sky. Then it the switches out. It switches out when it's, when it's turning around, and we start to see the sun set. That's where you get the demon name, Set, the god of the underworld, Set. He kills Osiris, the, the light bringer. Lucifer, whoever you want to refer to the eastern star as. It's Sirius A and Sirius B. Those are the two real suns. That's what you're looking at. Two suns, not freaking one. And the set, setting sun is always an orangey color for a reason. It's, it has nothing to do with anything else other than it's a different star. It's not this star. That's why it's brighter. This one is the sun setting. It kills Osiris. And then when both of them are gone and you're in the darkness, that is when Set and Osiris are having their battle in the underworld. You see? And Osiris always wins. He comes back up in the east every day. But Set sends him to the underworld for a little while, and then they have their battle, and Osiris always wins. That's why the story is told that way. This is real. You can choose to accept it. The ancients knew it. A lot of people knew this. Hypatia, for one, knew this, and they killed her for it. And they're probably going to try to kill me. I don't care. Because I know what happens when you die. So here's the explanation on what we're doing here. We are here plugged in, just like in The Matrix. The movie is very similar. We are plugged in somewhere else. We are here to experience and grow as spiritual beings. We focus solely on the material right now, which is why our growth has been stunted, which is why these idiots are trying to put man above God. This is the existence of God for all you atheists, by the way. This is why man tried to put man himself above God. He's trying to, the, the cold that you're experiencing in the northern hemisphere are a result of them strengthening. They figured it out. They know how to strengthen and weaken the magnetic field in our virtual environment. So what they're doing is they're sealing off our connection to God through the poles, because that's where you get to God. It is, not, it is not going inward, it is actually going outward. And you are looking in, you are standing on the inside of the skull, looking at your mind map. That's why it's so specific, that's why the planets are important, that's why there's eight planets, not freaking nine, there's eight. Because it's a special number, just like in the Bible. I don't remember, eight is the number for infinity if you turn it sideways. So you got eight going on for infinity within the circle, which is the brilliance behind it. So, now you're looking at your own mind when you stare at that. Saturn, that's why they, in the planet's alignment have a lot to do with how you look and how you function and your birth. Astrology has meaning. Stop denying it. Now, a lot of people don't understand it and they try to put bullshit out, but it has meaning. So, now that being said, we are standing on the inside of the skull looking into our own minds. And that's what you're seeing. That is a project, projection of yourself. Your own image is a result of what you put into it. If you drink pure water, you have a more pure image. You're healthier looking. If you drink shit, if you eat shit, if you eat the government mass-produced food, your body starts to, to, to resemble that. You're putting bad crap. You're putting unnatural things, and it's a digital result. It's not real. 
It's only fake. The electrical energy in your body is real. The rest of this is all fake. And once you realize that, you can wake up. And yeah, you're going to call me crazy. Yeah, you're going to say I lost my mind, but I didn't. I am a sane man in a land full of madmen. And this is probably my last video unless anybody has more questions.